start off with the darks. Hi, Charlie. Thanks for joining. How are you today? I'm very good. I'm drawing. Where are you from, Charlie? trying the same thing that's awesome hello from sweden very cool always wanted to go there do you have a boxer is that what you're drawing Keep hitting the the camera with my pen pencil. So sorry to hear about your dog.
Yes, I have a boxer. Her name is Bella. Right now she's sleeping, thank goodness. What are your cat's names? She is two and a half. She is getting to be an old lady. <laughs> but no, she's still a puppy. Get some browns in here. Esther, the diva, okay. Have you drawn your cat yet? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you need a really good photo, right? Yeah, photo references are good photo references are hard to get. blue tint in the eye, in the eye reflection. So I'm gonna do my best to render this out. Do you uh, draw a lot? Are you a student, an artist? What do you do? What do you do, Charlie?
Ah, yeah. Yes, it is a very, very difficult time all around the world. How are um, the COVID numbers by you? Are you guys uh, spiking again or spiking at all? Eyebrows here, one line at a time. The key to realistic fur is drawing one line at a time. I don't know how else to do it. Oh yeah? Oh, sorry to hear that. And you speak very well. Speak English very well. So what part of the boxer are you drawing right now? Are you drawing someone's boxer or just from a reference photo from the internet? Are you uh, doing colored pencils or, uh, col um, or just graphite pencils? I am very curious. Please say hi if you're online. I'd love to talk. Chat it up. Oh, nice. Yeah, eyes are hard. I tell people if you could draw a human eye or a dog's eye realistically, you can pretty much draw anything. So once you have that mastered, everything else is uh, easy peasy. It's really hard to get the reflections and all the different textures to get that uh, glow, you know? I'm trying to capture the light and the in such a small space, it's very hard, but 
All you need is practice. It's a cliche, but it's true. Okay, it's coming along. Oh, these are uh, Prismacolor pencils, colored pencils. I like them. How big is your drawing, Charlie? music is making me want to draw faster. <laughs> it's not very suspenseful. can see that okay it's getting darker faster here in the states it's only 351 and it's already getting dark me no like where is that okay there it is like where is my brown People are shy. If you're online, please say hi. Or not. It's okay. Thanks for watching. This is Deuce. Deuce the Boxer. Shevin, Shevin, uh, 89. These are Prisma color pencils. They're actually an old set that I bought way back in high school, but they, they have lasted. I'm almost, look, I'm almost done with this one. No, please ask, ask 
any questions you would like. Yes, Prisma. What do you use? Oh, nice. Yeah, I like them. They're, they are... They can get very detailed and it's uh, smooth to work with. I can blend easily with them. Yes, I do, yes. So I, I'm looking at the reference photo as I'm drawing and I make, I, I basically do my best to copy the strokes in the direction that I see them going. That's how I uh, create realistic fur. And then, you know, you gotta take some artistic license to randomize it here and there because, you know, you don't want it, you don't want it to look robotic. How much pressure? Uh, hmm. I mean, if you're burnishing like I am right now, I'm I'm lightly just, you know, tapping and creating lines because I want to, you know, go over it with other colors. And um, I probably layer uh, fur two or three times on each section. Have I drawn a boxer sometimes? No, I usually, I need a reference photo. I can't draw from memory. I'm not, I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it, obviously if, if I want it to look realistic, uh, I, I need to look at a photo. How about you guys? Can you guys draw from memory or without a reference photo? Yeah, exactly. Uh, fur on dogs especially go every which way. So um, if you want it to look realistic, a, a reference photo is very helpful. I mean, obviously people have different styles and, and techniques and processes, so you just have to figure that out uh, on your own, what type of style you're going after. When I go over my lines, do you lay the color on thick? Sorry for all, no, it's fine. Please ask away. Yes, uh, when I go over my lines, I try not to um, undo what I did before. Like I want to keep these textures alive, uh, especially with the fur. So I'm 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 lightly tapping it just to get some color out. I don't know. I, obviously, you can't tell, but uh, 
maybe from the sound of it. It's very light. And you could test it out yourself, you know, do um, mock-ups or test trials of how much pressure uh, you lay down each uh, piece of fur. Yes, I'm definitely adding depth. I'm adding uh, shadows. As much as I can. Okay, Charlie, thanks for joining. Yeah, I'll probably be on till, um, oh my gosh, you've already been drawing 30 minutes. Uh, probably till four, maybe five, maybe another hour. Hopefully I'll see you again. Uh, do I start with a darker shades or lighter? Um, I guess from being a graphite black and white pencil artist, um, I start with the dark shades first just to like um map out where the darker areas are but i don't go you know too dark i like here what i did was i started off under the lid and then i went around the eye and put in these dark shadows in the eye but with colored pencils i i noticed it's a little bit you know it's actually a lot different process so um it depends on what i'm trying to render out but usually, yes, I start with dark. I'm just, uh, that's usually just my routine. And, and I've gotten pretty good results. I'm actually pretty new to colored pencils. I've only been doing pet portraits uh, for the past maybe uh, six, six months. So I'm still learning. Shevin, what's your TikTok tag name? I'll follow you. I want to check out your uh, art. Kevin Butler, zero, one, two. Okay, cool. I will check you out. I'll follow you as soon as I'm done with this live. My pleasure. Yes, we need to support each other, right? Making art is a hard business. It is a very hard profession, so let's support each other. Let's motivate each other, inspire. Let's learn from each other. Are you a full-time artist? Shevin? this highlight here all right cool hobbies are fun So what do you mostly draw?
If you guys are learning something, please, please hit that like button and also subscribe. So you don't miss any of my lives. You get notified. Gotta darken this area a little bit more. Our comic stuff, pop culture, but want to get into pet portraits more. I really enjoyed that. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. Most of my clients are Pet portraits. It has uh, amazed me how many people want their pet drawn. But then again, I have a pet myself and one day I will draw her. <laughs> Two dogs and a cat so far. Those are some detailed mapping underneath. Could you explain your process with that? um detailed mapping yeah uh you mean my outlines is that what you mean Okay, yeah, so what I do is I take the photo and I import it into an app called Procreate on iPad and I trace the main outlines and then I print that out, the main, you know, outlines of the dog and I use my light box to map out and retrace it with a graphite pencil very lightly so I have I have the exact proportions of the dog if you see here so I don't have to you know worry that you know I'm not capturing their features I actually made a video of my of this process in my other tutorials on YouTube so hopefully you could check that out and you could see my whole process hi baby thank you I appreciate it I hope you're not driving Yeah, check it out. It's a, a more recent video, maybe six videos um, prior to, to this one. People ask me all the time how I get uh, the exact proportions and that's it. Like I wanna save time because I spend a lot of time doing the rendering. So I don't wanna have to uh, think about the proportions. It's just laid out for me, so I just uh, render everything else.
erase some of these graphite lines before I render things in. Let's work on uh, this ear. So I'm gonna block out the darkest areas, things that are in shadow first. Where's my other eraser? Let's erase these graphite lines.
Well, thank you, Shevin. Yes, uh, it's my pleasure. I'm here to help. And yes, I will check out your TikTok. I promise. If you guys have any other questions, please don't be shy. I'm here to help. Oh, hi, Tom. Tom Tompkins. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for joining. How's your uh, fur babies? When I lay her down, I feel like I'm going a little hard looking at yours. I can see you're so much more delicate, but I feel if I don't lay her hard, you can see the grain in the paper. Ah, okay. What kind of paper are you using? Maybe it's the paper. Bursabora Tone 10 Strathmore's. What paper do I I use? Uh, mixed media uh, papers from Strathmore. It's uh, Strathmore 400 mixed media. And I mean, there is a little texture on it, but not much. But Bristol Smooth Bristol Board should be good. Yeah, you should definitely do some experiments. It took me a while to get used to working with colored pencils. Uh, so, and I use different types of paper. Um, for certain portraits, I use um, a blending method with with uh, with the colored pencils. And um, I actually use watercolor paper for that, and that's very textured. So I would just keep um, experimenting and keep drawing and just, I, I guess it's, you just have to learn the feel of it. When 
and eventually you'll um, create a process for yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely still learning about this whole process. I'm looking at tutorials uh, and trying it out for myself, see what feels right. And um, I just go from there. I join a lot of uh, colored pencils, uh, Facebook groups. They're very helpful. Maybe uh, try a few maybe older habits that I'm normally doing comic style style for their heart and blend pretty hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's definitely hard to break certain habits, especially if you're used to drawing a certain way. Like, I drew black and white pencil for two and a half years. So it's just been um, the past six months I've started doing colored pencils. Oh, this piece, uh, you know what? I'm not sure because it's bigger. It's uh, 11 by 14. And I haven't actually uh, drawn a piece this big. I mean, I'm assuming it'll probably take um, 20 hours. That's my estimate. I mean, it's been 52 minutes since I've started drawing this, like, portion, like, right here. And I still have a long way to go. So what kind of um, comic style drawings were you doing? Curious. Charlie is back. Hello. Thanks for coming back. Are you still drawing, Charlie? Various Pokemon darts. Ooh, interesting. Cool. Darth Vader, Joker. Nice, nice. Yeah, I can't wait to look at your stuff on TikTok. Yeah, one day I want to draw Baby Yoda. <laughs> I love that character and and that show. Oh my, yes, that is late. <laughs> that is late. Well, I'm glad you're able to join. 
I'll make my uh, other lives uh, a little bit earlier so I'm not depriving you of your sleep. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate that. Charlie, are you on TikTok as well? What's your TikTok tag? Okay. Yes, I do have a TikTok. It's the dotist at the dotist. So how'd you find me, Charlie? Are you on Facebook then or Instagram? Ida, hello. What paper am I using? I am using um, Strathmore 400 mixed media paper. Ah, oh, cool. Yay. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you found me whether it's on YouTube or TikTok. Yeah, if you guys look at the description of this video, I have all of my materials. I haven't updated it, but everything else is there. but I'm using Prismacolor, so that's pretty basic brand. I have to darken up these, um, these forehead wrinkles here. Did I do anything fun today other than drawing? Um, I walked my dog, <laughs> played with her for a couple hours so she'll be tired. Um, that's pretty much it. 
How about you? It's not much you could do during these COVID times. How about you guys? Need to sharpen my pencil. It's getting dull. Yep, just work for you, Chevin. Ah, yes. Ah, but that's fun, love, play with animals, just being lazy today. Nice. That's right. Lazy is fun. <laughs> you definitely need lazy days and to rejuvenate. So what do you do for work, Shevin? So when I'm um, rendering these deeper shadows, I actually press harder on my pencil. Also make sure your pencils are sharpened. You can uh, have better control. And it'll stick to the pigment of the paper better too. So it's smooth. Yes, yes, the paper, this paper I found is, is, um, is, it's awesome because it's, it has a little texture on it, so it picks up the pencils really well. Like, I could get real, a lot of detail, like, all of these individual fur strokes. Obviously, my pencils have to be sharpened, but, yeah, I love it. And it's sturdier too, it's, you know, it, it's like stock, stock paper. It's very good quality. Do I need a lot of layers? Yes. I usually go, go over my drawings two to three times per, per area. Because there's just so much texture with the fur and I want to capture that. That's not bad? Oh, good. I'm still learning, so... When I feel like it's it looks good, then I stop. So I it, sometimes I might be going over it five times. So I shouldn't say just two to three times. Pastel mat now and it's taking forever oh interesting why is it taking forever i've never worked on pastel mat what kind of uh, paper is that yes thank you thanks charlie i appreciate and yes i understand you It's made by Claire Fontaine. Oh, okay. 
Is it smooth? Is it textured? You should try um, the Strathmore mixed media paper. I've gotten very good results from it. Oh, it's intended for pastel, but works well with colored pencil. I see. So you do a lot of pastel work then? Or mostly colored pencil? Okay, cool. What kind of uh, subject matter do you usually draw on color pencil? Yay, dogs. Yay to dogs. Awesome. Nice. Are you a full-time artist? Or is this a hobby? What's your background? It's hard to follow someone in another country that says some tools so to use and can't find it. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Oh, that is unfortunate, Charlie. You should move to the US then. <laughs> no, just a serious hobbyist. Awesome. I love that. Okay, bye, Ida. Thanks for joining for a little bit. Hope to see you again. Bye. Have a good one. Be safe. Wow, guys, I've been drawing for over an hour. Time flies. It's getting faster and faster. Yes, please come visit. Once the COVID is over. Biking up here. I live in New Jersey, Garden State, New Jersey. darken this eyebrow a little bit more. I'm looking at the reference photo and it's a lot darker than I thought. Now that everything else is uh, is uh, down. Shevin, oh, Shevin's been to Sweden. Look at that. Lucky you, I wanna go. Yes, I've heard it's beautiful as well. 
What's the best time to uh, visit Sweden? The, the weather here in New Jersey, it's a little dreary right now. It's, it's, it's been cloudy today. It's getting cold, which I do not like, me no like. Trees are changing colors or falling leaves are everywhere. Yep, winter is coming. Not looking forward to it. Probably June if you want the warm weather. Getting cold fast here too, yeah. You are looking forward to snow? Ah. Me, I'm looking forward to Christmas, but not the snow. I don't like driving in it. Let's burnish a little bit over here and get these um, highlights down just to make that eye glassier. I like the snow, but not the cold and not driving. Yeah, exactly. No, thank you. How detailed is my reference? Oh, it's very detailed. Um, I don't know how to show you. It's pretty detailed. I mean, the the fur that's here, it's it I'm pretty much trying to render every single piece of fur. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job. If you look at my Instagram, it, I post the reference photo so you could see what I'm working with. My Instagram is also the dotist. If you want to check it out there. You've been drawing for a year and I'm nice. 21. Ah, oh, I miss, I miss that, uh, age. <laughs> I've been drawing for a while. I'm 43 years young, and I remember drawing since I was three. How do you get on with not so detailed photos? You're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you, Shevin. You're fascinated. Awesome. Great. I love that. Uh, so... For blurry photos or bad lighting photos, 
which I also get. I look for uh, reference photos. I Google it, like um, if it's a boxer or if it's a German Shepherd. I try to look. There's enough photos on the inter internet that you could find a very similar looking dog. And I use that reference photo to capture the details if I can't see it in the original photo. Or if, um, if the dog is still alive, um, you can ask the owner to retake a photo. That's, I think that's the easiest way to get a, you know, a better reference photo. I know it's hard. It's when I don't, when I get those blurry photos, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But at the same time, it's kind of nice too, because it gives you some artistic freedom because then you add the details and not have to copy every single area the way it is in the photo. So it's good and bad. Do you think it's more hard to draw long fur or short? Oh, it's definitely harder to draw long fur. Cause short fur, you could like make a mistake and it's not at, as noticeable, but long fur, like golden retrievers, they have very curly, wavy fur and you really have to be more controlled with your strokes. And they go all over the place and they like overlap each other. And yeah, I, I, that's why I love drawing boxers because short fur is the way to go. <laughs> I can make a mistake 20 million times and it's not as noticeable. what I have so far. How on earth do you do short white fur? Oh, that is a great question. Um, very slowly and, <laughs> and carefully. <coughs> it takes, excuse me, it takes a long time. And I use the lightest pencils ever imaginable. Um, yeah, it's it's hard. I dread white dogs. <laughs> and sometimes you just have to you know, leave it white most most areas because if there's no shade, there's no shade. You can't do anything about there about that. There you go, Chef. <laughs> Yep, that's it. Oh, uh, thank you, Charlie. I appreciate that. Yeah, you do what you can, you know. All you got to do is, um, yeah, you do your best. And uh, hopefully it comes out well and the client is happy. Or you're happy with it. I have, I have all shades of, like, grays. Um, obviously whites and, and sometimes, um, I darken the photo actually. I use, um, Photoshop to darken the photo just to get, just to see more, more, um, tones. And so I render that as a darker photo just so it's not all white. Photographics, hello. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining. I appreciate that. Oh, good. Yay. Yeah, try that. I've gotten some success with darkening the photos so I see more shadows. Because shadows are there. It's just some photos are, like, washed out. 
Oh, I appreciate that. Yes, more the merrier. It's interesting how when people are watching you draw, you're a lot more focused. <laughs> and you I actually get a lot of um a lot of progress done when I go live because I don't get distracted and uh, you guys keep me company and keep me, keep me on point. Would love to see someone draw a naked dog. I don't know if you have a special name on that breed, but we just have, see the, they, I think there are some dogs that don't have fur. I don't know what they're called. That's a good Google, a real quick Google. I think there's chihuahuas that, that are, or less, if that's a word. Definitely chihuahuas. I've seen one. Ah, oh, looks like your joy. Ah, oh, nice. Awesome. Aren't boxers the best? They're the best. I'm not biased. <laughs> How old is Joy? And I love that name. Oh, she's passed. I'm sorry. Wow, 12. That's a long time. That's awesome. But they always uh, leave too soon, don't they? Yeah. awesome are you gonna get another one? Oh, i'm sure you still miss her i still miss my first boxer charlie says they will always be with you even if they are not here. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. There will only be one joy. Yep. Definitely. I'm going to turn on one more light. Let's get, it's dark here now in New Jersey. You can see it better. So I'm gonna start rendering a little bit of the nose. 
just uh, block this out real quick. If you guys want to see the continuation of this drawing, I'm probably going live on Facebook later tonight, if you're still up. Along the path in the forest where we were walking, she had her places where she was drinking. Aw. And there was a little creek she loved. That creek is called Joy's. Aw, nice. She has her, her own creek. That's amazing. Noses is one of the hardest things to draw for me. What is the hardest thing for you? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, noses are one because of all the details it i think it takes me the longest too especially if uh if it's a very detailed and clear photo like this one yeah it definitely takes the longest and then um the tongue for some reason is really hard for me probably because it's also very detailed and has a very subtle subtle shades yeah this dog has um a lot of crevices in his nose so we have to capture all of that going all over the place here. So many lines. One line at a time. want to block out the main shape of the nose with some texturing here. So I could see it better when I add in all the other details. Oh good, I'm glad you um it's coming. Yes, art therapy here. It's coming for me too.
Well, I'm glad you guys are watching and it's uh, relaxing you. Now I'm going to block out some of these crevice, crevices. Why can't I say that word? Crevices. Obviously, there's more than this on the nose. I just want to block out some of the key areas. Some of these I'm just making up and randomizing because it's not predictable. Well, it is kind of, but you know. Oh, thanks, photographics. Yes. I'm glad you think so. That is a goal of mine, to, to capture the eyes as realistically as possible. Because boxer eyes are very soulful. Just want to stare at them forever. <laughs> yes, I'm a boxer mom and I'm obsessed. It's a good obsession though. You're better than my cam. No, uh, I don't know about that. But thank you, Photographics. That is like a huge compliment, I must say. I gotta take a screen grab of that and uh, post it or something. <laughs> or print it and put it up on my wall for inspiration when I need some motivation. All right, let's... Uh... It's coming along. I just want to shade this part in. Well, thank you. Thank you, Photographics. I appreciate it. You guys are so nice. Do I have a tip for drawing noses? I find it even harder when I see a photo. Ah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Tip for doing noses. You know what? If, if looking at a photo is um, intimidating you, maybe because of all the details, maybe you could blur the photo and just get the main darks and highlights first so you're not you know bogged down with trying to capture all the details and then once you're ready to to do all of this all of these crevices and textures then you know revert it back to a clear photo but I mean the, the, I think the key is to just take it slow you know don't rush it Anything that's hard will take time. There's no word invented yet for the... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Photographics. You're so nice. Thank you guys for joining. 
I really appreciate it. And like I said, I might be going live on Facebook later tonight after dinner, maybe around 8, 8 p.m. Links to my Facebook are in the description, so hopefully I'll see you there too, maybe. If not, I'll see you again in um, a couple of days on YouTube. Yeah, I would just take my time with noses. Or or sometimes I like squint, you know? And um, when you squint, it kind of blurs out a lot of the details. So you just see the darks and the lights. Okay, photographics from Norway. Awesome, okay. Thanks for joining, have a good night. I actually waved, <laughs> like you, you can see me. <laughs> bye bye. So guys, I think I'm gonna end soon because I've been drawing for over an hour and a half. I wanna take a break, stretch, get some dinner. But thank you again for joining. This was a pleasure. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Shevin, Photographics. I think that was everybody. Ida, thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Yes. Bye. It's been a pleasure. Be safe.